What we know as invisible elastic was first trademarked by DuPont as Lycra back in October of 1959 when it was released as spandex. Three times stronger than natural elastic, more durable, and lighter, it was an instant success. In 1967, miniskirts created the need for pantyhose. And by 1969, I was 13 years old and just learning about this whole miniskirt thing as pantyhose took 70% of the stockings market. Now, by this time, magicians have been taking threads from lady stockings for decades, but the secret to stripping these threads into their smallest parts was a very exclusive secret only sold privately for large sums. But word was about to spread. By the end of 1968, Fred Capps was performing Bruno Hennig's uh, floating cork using 20 denier thread stripped from stockings. And in 1971, Kimbrook released Fred's routine for the first time. Reports uh, from magicians of the time called it the greatest magic trick they had ever seen. A little cork would bobble around in midair right in front of your eyes. A new era of magic was about to unfold. A few years later, Steve Dushek released Wonder Bar, where a tiny metal bar would force its way out of a cork test tube to float around. I was just getting into magic when the Wonder Bar craze hit. I attended my first magic convention in 1976, and there was Steve Dushek himself demonstrating Wonder Bar. Bill Smith uh, had taken me to this convention, and he flipped out. This became his favorite trick of all time. So for the next couple of years, we were playing around with this new invisible toy and all the neat things it could do. In 1979, I met John Kennedy, who taught me the floating bill. This rekindled my passion for invisible threads and became a regular part of my convention appearances during the early 80s. Over the years, I experimented with all kinds of thread gimmicks, and some of these we'll discuss uh, later in, on the next video. But Following the floating cork, wonder bar, and the floating bell, the next big thing to strike a chord with magicians was invisible elastic. Michael Weber was the first to publish an effect using uh, the elastic thread back in the early 80s, but people didn't really get excited about the potential until a couple of years later when Finn John released his invisible elastic loops through uh, George Prost in Europe and Joe Stevens in the United States. This was such a killer application of the elastic that could also be taken from stockings and stripped to almost uh, invisible dimensions the same way the other threads were uh, for Wonder Bar and uh, the floating cork that a new branch of interest now captured the imagination of magicians. <laughs>